Andri Research Institute, and director of seven years. And uh, this is our institute that has been established in 1946. And right now, from 2000, we want to the highest any capital, as you can see. Uh, how it looks like is our staff uh, of institute uh, behind the front of the main building of my institution. So, of course, our living uh, mission is to meet the variety range of research and development works, disseminate the results, and implement them to the practical application in both domestic as well as international level. Of course, as a, any R&D uh, institution, we have also mission, which is uh, shown in the next slide. <coughs> Some problems just to show the slide. Okay. Oh, it's very nice. It's fine. It's fine. So, and uh, we are working with many kinds of materials. Selected different materials you can find on this slide. Not, we are working currently with any kind of technologies, including your very famous, well known technology, metal casting technology. Uh, Casting under low pressure with counter pressure. We are also using this technology in our institution. Thanks, of course, to collaboration with you. We are working with many, many materials, not only monolithical one, but functional integrated structures, composite material, uh, ceramics, building, building many others. What is typical for my institution, you will see for the next slide, but I would like to just pay you attention that we are leading R&D organization in metal casting in Poland and for this reason, for this reason, a couple of years ago we tried to consolidate the branch and currently <coughs> under one roof we are working together with Polish Foundry Association, Foundry Chamber of Commerce, Faculty of Foundry Engineering Academy <coughs> Metallurgy, and of course the Foundry Institute, institution according to our agreements, signed documents, and on uh, all the problems which might be easy to solve if you are working together, if you are creating, creating additional value synergy effect. And also 2007, answering for the uh, European Union policy, we established quality platform of foundry technologies. But not only this is not enough for us and this year, in 2040, July 22nd, we also established coordination center for all this organization. <coughs> Currently, we are working together. Let's go together. How we lose it? How we lose it? Director has a two deputy. One is the main deputy for technical system, but we like pay attention. Second one, <coughs> organization and the legal systems. This is necessary because European projects are so are so complicated to manage, so complicated just to control and to realize. And for the reason, we have a special deputy. He's a lawyer, and he's working very very hard just to feel all the people safe. Because sometimes, if you are making some mistakes, it will be very very painful, especially for financial situation. And the other uh, can see some center, center for high temperature studies, design prototyping, montellus, cells, very many others. I will briefly show you the data table. And some uh, importantly, but you know, I'm working as an FRI under Ministry of Economy. And fortunately, I have only one boss. His name is Janusz Piłkoczyński, he's Minister of Economy. At the same time, he's Vice Prime Minister. So that's that's the decision you make it is made is much more easier than, than in the university system. You know what you got? Yeah. I, 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 I
we are pretty young. We have a, a, more than 40% ladies working for our institute. It's a very good parameter because we follow much, much less. We are pretty young, 48. When I started to be director, the average age was 60. We decided just to be friends. It was not so easy. It was not so easy. And currently, 70% belongs to the scientific research and engineering technical staff. Only 29. You see, you, you can say, you can say, this is 30%. This is too many people are working for Palis, but no, there's not too many. Because the projects are so are so tough to be around. We have a special program for our seniors. If very difficult just to reach suitable level if you are working with just having dust like metal casting. So we are not going just to pass and lose the talent and the hard <coughs> uh, possibility. For this reason, we have a special program and some of our retired person are still working. By. How it looks like, this is a beautiful sign of an institute and our ladies. And uh, uh, I'm very, very sorry that I'm not paying attention to the only scientific side of my presentation, but this is very important. For me, as a director, it's very important. Seven years, okay, let's say four years ago, seven years ago, we started to think how to improve our management, the working institute, and we discovered, we elaborated, integrated <coughs> some a project management. Why? First of all, I am able to control, especially financing, and work time efficiency, you have that control. I am able just to having this laptop to control all the whole situation in my institute right now. And also take decision, just pushing the button. The second one, one is for decision. Transparency is the single making criteria. <coughs> Everybody is able to see how the decision was born and who refused, who stopped the payment, the salary decrease, the, salary, the, 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 the collaboration, and so on and so on. And second, reduce low budget. I promise to my friends, to myself, please don't work with paper. Please don't see the people walking with paper knocking to the door. Please reject all paper. For this reason, we all decisions have been taken in the computer. And uniform documents and templates, but with many, many others. Or reports are also included in the system. How it looks like? You see some, you see them. I'm able to see how many projects right now we are, uh, we are uh, conducting, we are doing from the European Union uh, funds, domestic funds for industries and so on and so on. Also, I'm able to establish the efficiency of each cohort. Very briefly about our main achievement. I'm not going to pay attention, you will see this. We start from theoretical and cognitive point of view. We start it's early 15, early 40, the 40, uh, 40, 15, with some special uh, kind of the uh, iron, including our standard is dark by the iron, and then uh, start with certification under high resolution pressure study. And in this, in this year was very, very crucial and very important for us because we start with very uh, serious uh, program to improve our ability to study our liquid uh, uh, state, the liquid phase, liquids of the metal. Why was it? I'm, the name of my institute is Foundry Research Institute. I analyzed the, the rest institute in all the world. I recognized that almost no institute, zero institutes, are having deal with the liquid states. We know what does mean physics and chemistry of the solid states. But please be honest with you, so that's not too many people, specialists, are working with liquid state chemistry and physics. We start with this, you will see. Then different kind of materials, and our last but not least, identification of the specific properties of phase boundaries. Why? Because it's very, very important for our uh, practical application. From research and development point of view, we start with the investment casting primarily, and then we've been very famous in the in the in, during the, the, the 
las anșelul rășim, unde e cam tot, în mergem de acolo aparatul. Îmi vin export, intru în many, 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 many countries, including, of course, Soviet Union. It was very high level, high level equipment and apparatus. Then, there are different techniques, and finally, advanced methods of surface identification, plus non-destructive testing methods mentioned in the nice introduction line by by Professor Brent. A very brief capillus, non-ferrous metal and alloy department, which uh, having deal especially with the aluminum, magnesium alloys, and the copper, uh, titanium copper, zinc, uh, between many others, including the monolithical one, and then also including the metal matrix. Design. Now you will see some of our equipment that have been designed and uh, made um, in, 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 in Poland. It could be also metal metrics composite, I saw you a very nice exhibition, and the main office, we also, 10, 15 years ago, we started with uh, metal metrics composite, using my experience taken from the University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee, from Sorokati, and we see very nice composite piece and made by Swiss casting with local very process short fiber, short fiber prefer. The another direction of investigation was magnesium casting, especially for automotive industry, which are gun for old fashioned cars with this very good market, especially for uh, such people which are very enthusiastic just to drive and to use uh, use old fashioned car. In, uh, from 20, maybe 30 years ago, we've been working for Swiss casting technology, and currently we are working with new casting process discovered and proposed by Uber company in Japan. I know that many, many colleagues uh, are working for Institute of Metal Science, uh, in the Academy of Science, they also work in this Swiss casting technology and semi side. And now you see our ability, okay? And the, and this short move here, you see how we are working with these leaves, which are semi-solid states. We are just pulling to the cup, and then cup we are heating up and cooling down, and the, and the, and the creating the condition that we soil as the liquids. And for such a uh, regime. The, the, the structure and the properties of the metal is like a butter like butter like step and then such a steel you are pushing to the chamber of the, uh, the classical sometimes day casting machine and the Together with the 
Institute of Metal Science, personal and personal friendship, as a team member for working for the European Space Agency with high porosity material, very super, ultra super light and very stiff material. So uh, such structures as you know probably perfectly uh, only in gasars, so Russian gas, are gas, aerobat, uh, and force, and also in Japan they are calling lotus like structures. So uh, the short movie showing you our first attempt of the structure inside on such slaves. Uh, the uh, basic material, metal matrix material is the, is the magnesium, uh, and magnesium it has been um, uh, uh, the magnesium, some uh, hydrogen has been incorporated, and then all the stiff has been directions eliminated from the bar to the top. And you see the coral uh, structure of, the, of, of, of this material. This density of such material is close to one. One. More or less, one and one, zero point nine. And uh, this is very light, but very Difficult to say this is uh, stiff. No, it's not stiff. <coughs> Our next investigation, what we are going to do, we are going just to put inside the long fibers, just to improve their stiffness. Now we see the journey inside of the pores, and now we find not only that the structure inside it looks like the red light structure, which means that really gasoeutectic uh, uh, reaction. Uh, took place, taking place, but also you can see this, this the, the, the specificity of this porosity. This is open porosity. Channels are continuous, are open. This is good, which means that we are we able to create also in the future to control this process. And the, our American colleagues duty will be just to propose the mathematical <coughs> description computer simulation of this process, which is very, very important. Otherwise, we will we, 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 we have big problems. Um, this is a very complicated uh, system, not only one digital combination, but also some, some surrounding, some reinforcing effects. And the second movie, you will see the uh, size distribution of the pores, and we see this process also can be controlled, very easily controlled. And uh, what is the also very optimistic that the morphology of the spores are, are, are very, very are pretty uniform for the next, for the first uh, uh, stages of investigation, of course. You see, this is very nice direction of identification from the bottom to the top, from the bottom to the top, and the glycol is described the size of these pores. Some pores are very, very small, some are stupid. That this part, this upper part, is very nice. <coughs> we are very happy to see this part. That one is not yet fully satisfied, but we are still, you see, that is very, very good. We are looking for this, and we are going to put here some fibers, okay, to get it. So, Ferrous alloys, that's typical, most probably all also technique are available. What is uh, maybe interesting for you that those uh, guys are working with the um, with the um, nickel, ultra nickel super alloys. Um, oh, you see, this is not your cast, this is a very good solution of standard iron as a good material for instruments which are working and the, and the, and the, and the uh, agriculture, agriculture needs. Mm -hmm. The part of technology, classic one, we have all available equipment <coughs> to control all kinds of mass, uh, uh, all kinds of sands which are using for the plant technique, uh, water saturation, ultrasonic processes and so on and so on. So maybe it's not so interesting for you. For this reason, I let me just to give you a quick brief. This is very important center for us, center of high temperature studies. We are doing not only studies for kinetic and weighting and spreading of into metals and alloys, 
in contact with the other materials, but also testing their activity between, uh, between the molten metal and the solid body like ceramic, glass, and so on. Testing durability of bond between different materials. And studies of materials by the method of thermal analysis between, between many others. We are using for this special kind of equipment which has been proposed, designed, patented, and completed in Poland. This is made in Poland, totally made in Poland, beautiful apparatus for complex testing for high temperature processes. In other words, using tensile drug method and to see the drug, and to see the behavior of drug, the shape of drug, and spreading, kinetic of the spreading, we are able to predict almost, almost all set of behavior. You will see how can we manage. First of all, we are first of all we are able to dosage drop by capillary to capillary feeding for well and no level system. Then we are able to sum and the test type is 10 to minus 10 uh, micro uh, pascal. So it's very, 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 very low pressure and the temperature up to 1,600, oh, I'm sorry, 2,100 grade Celsius. Now, we are able to move this, this drug, transfer, as well as rotate. What for? What for? This is necessary, necessary to see invisible. In fact, but the molten metal and the side part ceramics is, is many, many, many interactions taking place. Better than to see, than to hear, of course, but we are just able to take such conclusions which I can predict technology. One of the small examples I show you now, it was some uh, part of the project done for NASA for the new kind of materials. You know, this is drug, pending drug. This is aluminum metal. Aluminum metal is dropping down and instead of the spread, or instead of the, I don't know, disappear, or it start to jump. Why? This kind of material is having unique properties. This is material that consists of nanotubes. We are calling this a liquophobic phenomenon. This material hates the liquid metal and telling him, go away, go away from me. It opens absolutely the possibility for no weapon system could, could you imagine? Crucible and more and no reaction. Yes, we can use many, many times. So for this reason, we like it. We like this very, very, very much. No wonder that we are quoted by NASA and currently almost all our results are just located in the database base. And of course, just to do good research, at a certain level, we have to know, we have to know that we have a knowledge about the properties of the samples. For this reason, we are, calling, we are, we are, we are using integral thermal microscope. In fact, this is atomic for the microscope, just to see what is the characteristic of the surface thermal. You will see also this equipment, and the, I'm not going to pay attention, the second very important equipment is standard for designing and prototyping. Uh, we include some labs, first of all, computer simulation, and also to realize very promising philosophy. We are calling this uh, materials design technology conversion. The typical example you see on this slide. The first rocket arm was made from the iron. It's very, very high. Very good iron. The second one we propose to replace this material into the aluminum atom. This is like 70, 7075 materials, aluminum zinc magnesium, by forging. Uh, we significantly, significantly decrease the mass. The next stage was to jump back to the outstanding ductile iron, but to change design. And in, in, in the in results, we decrease the mass of this uh, rocker arm compared with the aluminum one. And you see, distribution of the stress strain is much more important in this case. So we are just doing this philosophy every, almost every, for every case. 
This is a good example for a rocker, minimal value there. This is a big one, but this is the same philosophy. Same philosophy. Um, we are able to um, You will see here the tomb of King Casimir in Jagiellonia. This is the big one, and the royal castle. And we are completing and scanning all such, uh, all such very important drums, um, uh, which is uh, very for safety reason not only, but we are able just to restore them if something happened. And uh, mentioning about the uh, computer simulation, I'll show you very briefly our results for centrifugal um, casting, just the feeling of the model <coughs> using the uh, very sophisticated methods, also for very complicated <coughs> casting, like uh, finger like casting and many others. And of course, if you are talking about the rapid prototyping, cannot be, you cannot do that without any, any uh, uh, printing. So here you have a printer, a special printer, which is able to print from the, from the ceramic materials. <coughs> and also for powder materials. Mm -hmm. Very nice Cossack and horse bag from the collection of the Royal Museum and the Valhalla. So this is for for the uh, uh, for the new generation of the museums the scan and just to use the reverse engineering is very very important. Also another possibility to make uh, and to print from plastics. We are calling this method fused deposition modeling and also just to, um, to print from the, from the wax mm -hmm. and the line for such production. Okay. Um, talking about the rapid prototyping system, we are applying not only more first and first materials, it's traditional one, but also titanium. You will see here titanium connecting rope new generation and of course knowing the character of the titanium even if you are using central force just to densify the structure we must we have to use um, uh, high isostatic press just to come back to make it more unfortunately every year every year the market for spare parts for human body is increasing and for this reason we are also intensively working with spare parts for human body, using not only as a piece, but also for legs, for very health. One of the very interesting examples I'd like to just show you and share with you. This is our participation in Polish artificial heart program. So also many, many people when you seek for the heart and only one chance for saving life is just to hurt us. Transplant, but natural parts are not so easy just to get. So, for this reason, people around the world is working with artificial health. So, here you see located in, 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 in the valley. So, this is a uh, chamber for a heart to be made under foundation to conditions. And what was the most important things just to find precision cast part to power to supply artificial heart. And uh, those castings, this is very extremely team wall casting, aluminum and titanium again one, having approximately 0 0.5, 0 0.4 millimeters. We can use very sophisticated technology just to gain it. And finally we did it and I love I have a, I'm proud to uh, pronounce and inform you that Last year in Zabrze, in Silesia, first, uh, first artificial heart transplant has been made by the team of the Professor of Liga Liga, and the heart was uh, has a, had a mass um, close to 1 kilogram, 900 um, grams, capacity 7, 200, 750 milli, milliliters, and consumes. 27 watts of energy, and this was hard 
was compiled with these two chambers, each of which was divided into two parts, separated parts with membrane, by the membrane, and the two comp compartments are filled with blood. And the other two we see a fluid. And our deal, our duty was to guarantee certain uh, supply, certain power. Some of these casting which are also some people are very jealous about the wonderful artistic casting and we are using non-destructive method for chemical analysis. Okay? Using X-ray, X-ray fluorescence, and also trying to restore the natural wide wide patterns. But you will see this is the you know, flowers which are similar to the natural one. Of course, this is very nice, but this is not so serious. Another big problem been involved, it was like the royal trap for disabled people. You no, know, I had the opportunity uh, to live in a wonderful city, in Krakow. Krakow is the old capital of my country, having more than 1,000 years uh, tradition and history. And you can find it, many, many wonderful monuments. And you can find, you can visit the monuments if you are young, healthy, if you are okay. But if you have some, if you are disabled, let's say, if you are blind, if your eyes are not so good, how you can see, touch? And uh, the idea was to make uh, miniatures, one of the most famous Israeli monuments, which are located along the royal track. Many, many years ago, and when guests, visitors, would come to the Krakow, they stop in the Vatican and they travel through the downtown, the central square, to the royal plastic and the other. And you can find all these monuments which have been done. And for this reason, we have to find, identify the very good new materials, having high abrasive wear resistivity, because Million people we can't retouch it, okay? And of course, just to restore all these uh, copies of the uh, details, should be high pressure casting, casting the technology in this And we did it, and you will see the, the results. And this movie, which is showing uh, not only history, uh, but also the technology. And uh, first of all, designing. You will see the people which are working, first of all, with the computer uh, designing, and then the printing. We had uh, some documentation <coughs> from the old ancient time. It was possible just to make this, according to the document, some of the monuments have been scanned, uh, three-dimensional scanned, and then finally it was made some some very nice casting. If you will visit Krakow, so please, I invite you, so you will see all these monuments which are located through the Royal Track. And people are coming and just to, we are very, very happy sometimes when I'm walking, not too often, but rarely you see people which are touching here and someone is standing here and also discussing how it looks like, especially for people which are blind. All information are located around all the, these monuments in the trial alphabet. Very, very nice. But we are able just to restore the shape. How to restore the colors? We use also very unique technology, touching colors. Touching colors has been used in the 20th century. What does it mean? Each color was replaced with the corresponding graphic symbol. Dash line, red. So in mind blow and so on, so on. So and uh, after very wide consultancy with the uh, with the association of the blind people in Poland, we can find this technology and the and the they visitors are, are really pretty satisfied. Complex of research laboratories, this is a traditional one, divided into three chemistry, structure, environmental studies, you will see the traditional equipment. We are able just to study not only chemical composition, but also the structural evaluation, uh, that you may, that you other, what is untypical, what is interesting. And also, as you mentioned in the 
actually is a non-destructive testing. We are just, this is one of the, our main topics of the development, non-destructive methods, using ultrasound, magnetic battery, radiography, penetration, but last X-ray computer tomography. One of the equipment we are calling nanotom, you show on this slide, and for such small object, including electronic. And second one, you, we are using for different kind of, of, of testing, like uh, porous body, preforms, short fiber, and you know, this is the big one. Okay? For real castings, as much as one cubic, uh, one cubic meter casting, so one meter, one meter by one meter, so this is COD. Because we are able just to test even such big blocks like starting the line, starting the block. And also on this short movie, you will see how we are doing this. So first of all, this is some slides showing the, the interior of our institute. And the, you know, uh, the, the casting is kind of special bedding, is very well protected by leather plates and located in the central part. Then rotating a couple of hours, and we are scanning using a random X-ray, uh, X-ray uh, radiation, of course, and then using uh, a computer software, we are also just to analyzing the effects, distribution of the second phase, and both level quantitatively and quantitative quality, quantity and quality level. So we see this one. Distribution of the international distribution of the defects, even such, such responsible, responsible casting. We are able also to travel inside, as you could see on the example of the Gazas. Now we are traveling inside of the channels of the cylindrical line. This is very difficult, and it was before, and now it's very difficult. The main advantage of this method is non destructive testing. Non destructive testing. And the last, uh, we try just to, one of our colleagues from the, from the Academy of Medical Academy just asked us, you know guys, this is like, uh, like this time is taken from, from this time, okay? And the, we are able, they ask us, are you able just to restore this internal, uh, internal structure? as a pole structure. Are you able or not? So we try to do that. First of all, we start to investigate. And you can see on this, or not. Nice. Okay. So you are traveling inside of. Um, it, this is the natural bone. Uh, this is like um, lumbar spine cycle. And the, uh, as a fact, having such knowledge about the structure of the of the cellular structure of such such lumbar spine cycle, we try to restore to do the same using our our techniques. And currently we are doing this, and it will be like bigger project. I hope. I hope. Uh, you know, foundry founders are working under very heavy conditions, and uh, we need just to test very briefly um, what is. Uh, uh, inside of the air and the environment, and I highly recommend you. We are calling that from the nose. This is mobile dust chromatography. We are coming to the foundry, and during a couple of hours, we are able just to make map of the distribution of the harmful, harmful uh, impurities. The Center for Information Promotion. We are some our our uh, publishing. I'm sorry that before leaving, I'm talking all my books. Just to like to show you that I'm I'm not I'm not I'm slightly lazy as as, as, as a man, but uh, this is my uh, let's say the, the the results of my couple of years before. We are publishing in the very high topic journal, the journal of material science, and so on, and so on, uh, and uh, just to share with our our friends from the university and from which are working, we have a like, mobile uh, movable exhibition and the exhibition has been exposed in Germany, in Poland and 
many, many international trade, you will see the results. He was showing the metal casting using untraditional way. Honor and awards, each institution should have such honor and award. I'll briefly show you only a few of them. First of all, this is the award economic prize from this gentleman, Handel Love, past president of the Valenza, who should not be here. And this is Marshal of the of the Malopolska Prague, Mr. Mr. Marisova, as well. So it is a very prestigious award from the institution. And this is me and with the president of the Republic of Poland, Mr. Mr. Komorowski. And I'm very also maybe not all this will be to getting the Master of College Science one year ago and today he is the former Prime Minister of the Higher and Education. Okay, and coming just briefly to the end of my presentation, I would like to only mention about that we are working, of course, in the last version of certification and, uh, and standardization office that is absolutely necessary. Quality system is absolutely a requirement. Currently, each employer will be applied as the four patents, and one international, one domestic patent. This is an example of the American ones. We have a very nice foreign relation, especially with our American partners. We start with the University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee, and I have a signed memorandum understanding with such well known. Company, Lockheed Martin Company, Nasdaq Center Company, all which National Laboratory, building energy industry for private. And this is very, very close to my heart, Institute of Metal Science of the Bulgarian Academy of Science in Israel, Bulgaria. I hope that this institute will be in the first place here. And I, I wish myself on the bottom of my heart and the uh, <laughs> director. I'd like to point out that I include this technical with Varna, because we signed two days ago also we want to understand me. And also very nice relations with Greek people in Germany. We are working with German colleagues very, very effectively, especially last time. So that's very, very good, hard working guys. We are very proud. And some examples. This gentleman is the director of the Frankfurt Institute, Professor Ernfried Czech. Uh, this is our friend. This is our friend from Russia, and students from Brazil, Rolls Royce guys, this came in France, Sweden, and Germany. And you know, a very famous presentation during the World Country Congress. And we have been very huge group. And uh, this is, this is, it was very, very nice couple of available days we spent with the, with the directors of the leading China uh, institutions. Branch contact point is usually if you have to deal with the with the with the international, especially European branch. Here's our strategy, very briefly. Our dream is to establish international research center for liquid state uh, science and the practice. And second one, we are including in the roadmap for research infrastructure, and we are also dreaming just to be part of the European roadmap for research infrastructure. You know, well, just to improve the collaboration, improve the efficiency of the work. Many, many of our colleagues have the same equipment, but some they are using very effectively, some are not. I think this is a good time just to complete all this equipment and just to collaborate on I'd like to pay your attention to our library. We have access for all available literature source. We are laughing, including the White House Library. And in fact, thanks to the uh, policy of the, our government, we well, have access to the international, international literature sources. This is a couple of our uh, conference centers, including the, the video conference center and the exhibition. And uh, this is the, the administrative part, some our industrial part, and also the really mentioned by the research and training center of the United States. And it's only only on the paper, only in the form or in the, the, the shape of the, of, the, of the dreams, right now in computer simulation, anyhow. So I'm not going to talk about problems. Like, you have problems, we have problems. 
But finally, I'd like to share with you so what my young colleagues are doing. You know, this is, they, they think this casting is brilliant. I agree with that, of course. And uh, this is the symbol of our institution, okay? That this is like like crucible, which are motors flowing like that. And they can find that casting can be bright, they can find that casting is curious, they have found also that casting is divine, very really nice thinking, casting is precise, of course. They have found that casting is hot, especially for young people, is echoing lights, of course, is sexy. Why not? It's fantastic also sexy direction. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much for your